Logan. So hands are still low. Right? We're not going to interrupt anybody's thinking. This is guacamole is a cooking poem. Este libro guacamole es un poema para cocinar. Okay. And it's long, so we're going to read it in two different installments. We'll read a little bit today, and then we'll finish it up um, next Monday. Okay? Looks like she has all the ingredients laid out before her. For guacamole. Raise your hand if you've ever eaten guacamole. Yeah? Did you like it? Yeah. Yes. I never, ate, I, I never ate guacamole because I never knew what it was. Today, I am going to make you some guacamole. I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister, they stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. Hoy les voy a hacer guacamole, le digo a mi mamá, a mi papá y a mis hermanitos. Me miran con ojos grandes como los aguacates verdes en la cesta de la mesa roja de la cocina. <clears throat> to make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados, <laughs> like green precious stones, and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as a four-leaf clover, and you need salt. That's all. Para hacer una sabroso guacamole, que deje a tu mamá, a tu papá, y a tus hermanitos pidiendo más, necesitas cuatro aguacates grandes, como piedras verdes, dos limones frescos, grandes y briosos, como canicas de cristal, Necesitas unas hojitas de cilantro verdes, como un ramito de tréboles. Necesitas sal y nada más. Nada más, that's all? Nothing, it, closer to translation is and nothing more. That's all. Shh. Let's see what happens to her. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with garland of little red flowers and leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish and its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. Primero, primero busco mi traste favorito. Lleva una guirlanda de florecitas rojas y hojitas verdes como corazones. Tengo ganas de bailar y voy bailando con mi traste de florecitas rojas y hojas verdes como corazones. I think we'll read two more pages. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hand and can tell that they are soft and ripe. And their shiny, tender skin They're like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink, and then, dancing and singing, I put them on my red kitchen table. Ahí me esperan los aguacates hermosos, verdes y grandotes. Los tomo en mis manos y siento al tocarlos que están blandos y maduros. Su cascarita suave y brillante como las hojas de mi jardín cuando ha llovido. Los baño en la manantial de la cocina y bailando y cantando los coloco en la mesa roja de la cocina. Now it's time to cut up the avocados. One by one, very slowly, cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball, round as a small world, like a slide. Oh, it's smooth and slippery, like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. And if you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. Ahora hay que cortar los aguacates, 
Uno por uno y muy despacito, comienzas a partir los aguacates por la mitad. En el centro del aguacate vas a encontrar una pelota redondita como si fuera un pequeño mundo. Es lisa y resbaladiza como un tobogán. Si la agarras con fuerza, se resbala. Si la agarras débilmente, se te cae. No tires la semilla. De estas semillas nacen los árboles de aguacates. Sing to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salty salt salt from my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now, with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming Guacamole. Ahora le agrega sal, no mucha. Cántale a la sal cuando la agites para que como pringuitas de llovizna blanca caiga sobre el aguacate verde. Sal, salita de mi salero, échale la sal primero. Ahora con el tractor de tu cuchara, remueve un poco la carnita verde de los aguacates. Mueve tu cuchara hacia arriba y hacia abajo. El aguacate se está poniendo más blandito. Se está volviendo guacamole. Okay, we're going to stop here.